Hey again everyone, Daniel, cross-cultural nerd, here again with another video for you today. No doubt those in the tabletop gaming space have heard about what happened with Wizards of the Coast Slate's gaff about a week and a half ago. Uh, long story short, uh, for those who don't know, um, this uh, Magic the Gathering YouTuber Dan Cannon bought a new set of Magic the Gathering cards. Uh, under the impression it was of um, one of the more recent sets, but uh, turned out the shop had apparently given him a leaked box of the newest upcoming set of cards. And Mr. Cannon had legally purchased this thing from the shop. I'm not sure how it got from Wizards of the Coast to the store. Uh, that's an investigation for another time. Um, anyway, Mr. Cannon uh, realized what he had and uh, had an unboxing and card reveal on YouTube, leaking the cards to the public. And in a very short time, Wizards of the Coast had seen the video and either they or Hasbro sent a couple of Pinkerton detectives to Mr. Cannon's home, um, threatened him with possible years, plural, years in jail, and well over 100,000, possibly 200,000 in fines if he did not comply and immediately give them every single card plus the wrapping, and they actually counted it there on the porch and made the guy's wife cry too. For those who don't know who the Pinkertons are, they're a uh, group of um, detectives, risk analyst type people, um, but they've also got a rather sordid history. Uh, they've been around um, almost 150 years, and some of the worst parts of their history have been working as union busters and strike breakers. Um, when corporations were like, okay, you know what, screw the law, hey, you guys, go after them, end this right now. And, yeah. So, there was a plethora of options that Wizards and Hasbro had at their disposal for dealing with the leak. But they didn't do that. No, they broke out the big guns immediately. And, uh, yeah, Mr. Cannon complied post on YouTube about it again, but uh, I was already not purchasing any new D&D &D stuff in response to the OGL debacle, and you know, I was hopeful for better conduct from Wizards of the Coast and Hasbro in the wake of the uh, effort to make amends after the OGL debacle. Um, this though, this is a bridge too far. And I might post about one more Wizards product that I'd recommend in spite of all this because it's actually pretty cool, pretty sweet, kids books. I'll show you in another video. But apart from that, I'd, I'd, I'd planned to do some tabletop gaming video stuff coming up and gonna do 5th edition and Pathfinder 2nd edition and um kind of like talk about the same kind of stuff one after the other and I ha I was about 75% of the way through completing uh a D&D &D 5e video for new players and I was going to follow up with, the pa with a similar one for Pathfinder and I'm not going to do that anymore, I think. Um, I don't think I can do content with the intent of bringing in new blood to the game while their, while their company is doing antics like this. Now, Paizo, they're awesome. I'm still going to do Pathfinder content. Um, but, you know, I've wrestled with this for about the last week and a half since it happened. Just figuring out how I'm going to respond. And that's it. Uh, now, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna do like new player type stuff, tutorial, um, class rankings, um, ancestry profiles, that kind of thing. With with Pathfinder, I will do D and D five E character builds because those are gonna be directed at people who already play, already have the materials, and I will. Uh, in the event of new character build videos, I'm going to see if I can't make the same type of character, or the same character in 5e and Pathfinder, but that's the only exposure I'm giving 5e now. Everything else, no. Pathfinder all the way. Um, I'm eager to see how the big name YouTubers, like the Dungeon Dudes and D&D Shorts and them, respond to this um, Pinkerton incident because you know I value their input I love their stuff but a lot of other youtubers have already uh, uh, sounded off with calls to boycott wizards boycott Hasbro uh, and yeah I want to see how the big names react some people are kind of contractually bound. Critical Role, I know, is coming out with their own RPG system pretty soon. That's going to be fun. I'm going to do my best to get me a copy of that. Um, but yeah. So, sorry Wizards, you were awesome. And then you crossed a line you really should not have crossed. Anyway, um, look at the link tree in my uh, description. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Mastodon, Instagram, co-host, and Hive. I'll catch you later. Y'all have a good one. Bye.